Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can configure SNMP for FTD devices or firepower threat defense devices that are managed by the FMC. We will also look at how we can enable traps for these devices so that if, say for instance, an interface goes down, we can get those traps sent to the SNMP manager. So with access to the FMC, what we need to do is we need to navigate to Devices and then Platform Settings. Once on Platform Settings, we either need to create a new policy or use an existing policy that's already configured. In our case, we will use the existing policy and we will click Edit. and then we need to go down to SNMP. Now if these settings are not already enabled what we need to do is we need to enable the SNMP servers. We then create a community string. So for the purpose of this lab and video I will call this community Cisco. I will keep the name of the administrator the same and I also keep the location the same. We use the standard or the default port of 161 for polling. So that's all good for the polling of SNMP to the devices that are assigned to this policy. In my case, if you just click policy assignments, we can see that I've got a 2100 assigned to this policy. Now if we want to enable traps, what we need to do is we need to add hosts down below um, and we also need to uh, enable SNMP traps down here. Um, so if this little radio box is not selected, we need to go ahead and select that and the rest should be fine to leave checked. So if we just go back to host so that we can communicate with the SNMP um, server, we'll click add and we need to add the IP address of the management um, SNMP management server. So in my case, I should already have one configured, so I'm going to use that. Um, SNMP version, for the purpose of this lab, we'll use version 2C. So a username is not applicable. We'll use the same community string, which is just Cisco. And what we're doing is this host will be used for polls and traps as well. We'll specify the port here of 162, which is uh, the default for traps. And then what we need to do down below here is we need to add an interface in which this traffic will come from. So in my case, this is going to be outside. And then we'll proceed with pressing OK. And repeat these steps if you have multiple SNMP servers. If you don't, you can then go ahead and click Save. Remembering that this will not apply the policy to the devices that are assigned to this policy. You then need to go ahead and click Deploy. Select the devices in which you want to deploy the changes to. In my case, this will be the FTD2100 and then click deploy. Now this will go off and deploy the configuration changes to that device. Now once that is deployed we will then come back and we will just verify that SNMP polls and traps are working and I am using Power SNMP uh, Manager for this. I'm not going to demonstrate the actual setup of Power SNMP. We're just going to verify that we can uh, pull and we can also receive traps uh, with the configurations that we have done. If your SNMP manager um, or the devices that you've configured SNMP are going through firewalls, you, need, you do need to consider you know, firewall rules for traps and um, you know potentially also pull polling of the devices so do bear that in mind
So that's the configuration successfully deployed to the 2100 series. So we'll go to the Power SNMP, and what we need to do first is on the manager or whichever manager that you are using, you need to make sure you can pull that device. So I'm just going to query, so we'll just do uh, system contact, which we specified as Kelvin. I'll query that and we can see it's successful here we've got the system contact as Kelvin let's just do another one system description let's query that so we can see that it's a firepower threat defense running 6.2.3 so polling seems to be good now what I'll do is I will just take down an interface a physical interface and then we will verify that we get traps just under here So there we go, I've just taken down the physical interface and we can see that we're getting traps now for this. So if we just click on this, we can see that we're getting different variable IDs for the operational status and the admin status and the interface index. You can drill down that into more detail if you want. And I'll just plug back that cable back into that interface and we should get some more traps. And as you can see there, we've got different um, OIDs that have come through for the interface up now. So we should be able to see that the variables have changed. So we can see that the operational status has changed from um, 2 to 1 as well. And if we just quickly then go back to traps, we can see we've got the standard traps configured to send so what we've just done is the link up and a link down status which we've received the traps for so that's simply how you configure SNMP to send traps and also so that you can pull FTD devices thank you for watching thank you for watching this video I hope you found it useful Please feel free to subscribe to my channel simply by pressing subscribe and if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that I upload then please go ahead and press the notifications bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video.